Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Lone Wolf Tree Stands, Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. Well, David's out opening the gate. This is our first sit on this plot. We've been waiting on the right wind. Thankfully, we've got temps in the 70s. It'll be cooling off to the 50s overnight, so we're excited. Hopefully we see something. in straight across from where the road turns right to the feeder where you want to park. Um, maybe where we used to walk in for the set that was in the finger in the hardwoods. Didn't park right here. Where we walked park. in. beautiful afternoon to be in a tree. We saw a good number of deer pretty much from the time we drove in in the truck and saw them in the road. We got in and got settled. And we saw a lot of deer come in, fed around, and we had more deer. I only saw one little buck. He looked like he was probably a little two-year-old. He was hungry. It's a really beautiful evening. After Hurricane Michael come through, it brought with it some cold temperatures. I'm actually kind of chilly right now, shivering. We're not used to this. We're used to 90s and 80s, and hopefully we'll be back at it again this weekend. It's October 13th, and you'll notice us in our orange. It's opening day of muzzleloader here in Georgia. 
so we'll be wearing orange for the rest of the season. Today's almost identical to yesterday. Beautiful day. Mid-70s, light northwest wind. We're gonna go sit on a clover plot. We haven't hunted it this year. It's actually a box, it has a box blind on it. It'll be a little easier for her to get in. It's a plot that I had a, pictures of a lot of good mature deer back during the summer. And I've actually got a camera on it now, but I haven't checked it in several weeks, so we're gonna pull the card on the way in and see what's been there. But the last time I had checked pictures there, quite a few deer in there every afternoon. Now it's a beautiful day. Hopefully they'll be there today. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail. It's the evening of October the 15th, and I'm back in that same stand where I hunted last Friday, I believe it was the 12th, and I had that encounter with that big 10 point. What happened Friday, we had a north wind, but it was so light that as the day wind died down at prime time, kind of started getting that the thermals just sucking me back out into this open field where the deer are on the South Alpha that Ozonix saved me. I watched that footage over and over again. And from what I can tell, that deer didn't seem to be very spooked. He left the field, but I've seen him leave in a lot worse shape than that. So the way this spot sits up, these deer are bedding to my west, to my left. And they're moving through my alfalfa field, which is only about an acre. Uh, and they're crossing this hollow and coming out to a cut cornfield to my east. So that's their destination feed field. So the idea is for these deer to move through here first, earlier, and for me to be able to cut them off and hopefully not get stuck in this tree. It worked with the exception of the wind a few nights ago. So maybe tonight's the night. Maybe he'll come out a little closer. There's some other trails that are a lot closer that come out into this field. So I guess uh, time will tell hang in here hadn't got long probably got uh, mm, two hours or a little less so maybe tonight's the night
I just got back to the truck and it's just now the end of legal shooting light but it was so overcast tonight that we lost light fast I don't think I've ever been this dialed in on this big of a deer this is um uh, I've hunted this deer twice now and I've saw him twice today he was bedded on the east side of the field evidently because he never crossed the field but he ended up right beside me and I had like a doe it was two does and a fawn in the field and they just kind of was playing chasing each other around and everything and they ran into the woods to my right to my east I could hear these deer you know running around in the leaves and stuff beside me and I got to looking and I saw a deer standing there like it was working a scrape and I pulled up my binoculars and I knew it was a you know a big deer so I, I got the camera turned on and got panned over to where he was at and sure enough I mean it was him he worked that scrape and went out that point and that point um is the drops off and that's the best crossing to go up to that cornfield i was talking about earlier so there's a good chance that he just eased right by me and down that hall and was was gone well before i got down to leave good evening they're still moving pretty good the wind's gonna be right to be back in here tomorrow and i'd be a fool not to keep hunting this deer i like that stand the access is really, really good because I'm at the far south end of the alfalfa field. And uh, with a north wind, it's, you know, if the wind will do what it's supposed to, I'm pretty well bulletproof. And that's twice I've climbed down at dark and got out of there and not spooked deer. So it's working. I just got to keep on and uh, maybe he'll keep cooperating, moving in daylight, and I'll get my opportunity. But uh, until tomorrow... Thank you for watching Midwest Whitetail, Southeast. Today is Tuesday, October the 16th, and so far it is the coldest day of this fall. High today here in Tennessee was 53 degrees. Um, here in the background we kind of got a little drizzling rain going on right now. But I came back to the same food plot, a crossover plot that I hunted. I think it's been two weeks ago now um, in hopes of getting a better look at either this buck we're calling the Mystery 9 or uh, just to see if any of the other bucks from last year have moved in. They both used this plot quite a bit last year so never know this cold front that we've got going on right now it's the time that the big boys start to move so we're going to get settled in and see what happens so Stay with us and maybe we'll get lucky. That's going to wrap up our evening. Um, those bucks and little fawn walked off to the far end of the field and walked off in the woods. Anyways, all in all, real good sit. Um, got to see one of the bucks that I come in here to see. and 
for sure know he's a three-year-old and he's got great potential so he'll be a good one next year and possibly the year after that if we can get him another year that's going to do for today we'll be back out this weekend me and walter are going to finally get to team up i believe and hunt another little front that's coming in so these october cold fronts are our money it seems like thanks for watching and keep checking back Thank you.